be your reading for this week. I was going to post this tomorrow. Um, however, I decided to record it today because the Leo reading is procrastinating. So I feel like I'm meant to post your reading today, the next air or fire sign coming up. So it's really interesting what's happening here. Um, what this card is about is basically undressing and seeing the truth in things. But the reason you want to see the truth in things is because in yourself is you see the truth in others. So everyone is a reflection of yourself. At the bottom of the deck, you have the undressing of a solid. There's going to be some real strong revelations coming here. And I do believe you're going to be letting go of old beliefs that are not serving you, um, which means you will let go of old beliefs in other people that you may have assumed due to your expectations from your experiences, right? So I'm going to pull the cards and there is going to be an extended, but I'll get into this momentarily. Let me get the cards out. Thank you for joining me, by the way. Oh, wow. We have a king and queen came out. I'm just going to leave those two together. Um, that's interesting. Thank you, Sandra, for this deck as well. Someone purchase this deck for me, for the channel, for us. And if you want to join on my Patreon, I would love to see you there. Okay, let's see what's going on. I'm just going to leave it kind of like that. It's one card less than I normally get, but I feel like this is where we um, stop here and we begin. So I do feel like you've done some internal work here, okay? I think you've literally like taken some time to yourself and you are really found the truth within yourself. It's very interesting. I almost feel like you had to look at a truth that had to do with darkness, maybe even a masculine energy, maybe from your past, maybe a father or grandfather. But point being, you've taken a good look at your past. Now, I do see this masculine energy here kind of waiting for you to join them. It's very interesting. I am getting the message, Sagittarius. I mean, put it for who it is. But I feel like you had to do the work. And it's especially if you're a female. And I feel like there was a your king, your perfect partner waiting for you, waiting, connected. You guys feel each other, waiting for you to go through this dark night of the soul energy to clear your mind. This person has had faith. You have the faith card with the lovers, the higher faith in this connection, waiting for you to see your truth. Maybe it is like your own self-esteem that you had to work on. Maybe you were arguing with this person, projecting your fears and worries onto them. Because there is a transition that had to happen. You're possibly your person already went through this. And I do actually see that. And that's why this person is so able to hold space. The other reason they may be able to hold space is because you may be married to this person. Okay. Um, we do have the king and queen coming out at the exact same time. What are the chances of that? I have overly shuffled this card, these cards. Um, so it's not like they were just stuck together. Now, I do like this person. I feel like you've been with this person for some time. You may have even been in some sort of a separation. Um, but I do once again have this vibe that this person has always known and prayed for your recovery or prayed for your, your well-being or prayed for you to return. Like you may have been with someone else and that person may have dragged you through the ringer. Okay, it's possible. Anyhow, you have a love here. Someone who truly um, feels you and you feel them as well. Someone who is holding space, okay? Honestly, I feel like whatever you're clearing, it may have had to do with a masculine energy, okay? I'm just going to take out one, and we do have the devil as the first card. Let me get the rest of them out, and then we'll get into this. And if um, I didn't say it yet, there will be extended on Patreon. The link is below. All my extendeds are under the same the same uh, Patreon, right? You should just choose which level you want, but you do get access to the videos. Okay, so let's see. Whoa, come on. Really? Okay, we take them. Why? So there was a struggle. It was an internal struggle. Um, this is something you, I think it's you that has to truly do the clearing. I think your person is in the right state of mind, knowing and holding space and envisioning the future, envisioning the love that they want to have with you. I don't know who you're tied to, Sagittarius, but it's a dark energy. It's something from the past. It could be childhood. It could be a past relationship that you have not fully moved on from. That's the problem. Um, why you haven't, I'm going to explore that more in the extended, but right as for here, it's something that you have to get uh, out. It's literally like your other, your person cannot come in until you fully release this it's kind of holding you back and you do have to have the strength 
to move this energy. Now, hmm, let me see what's happening here. For some of you, you actually had a separation from this person and this person is like you were probably the one to leave or something and this person is waiting for you to return. Um, but it's you that's being blinded by something here. It's you that needs to make the choice. Once you do, I do see you returning. Let's see what this is about. I will clarify this for you. Let's see. The Emperor. You may have been dealing with the fire sign because uh, I do see the fire energy here. That may be who you were connected to, that this person was waiting and holding space for you to leave. Uh, very possible. Could be someone who was very controlling. Okay, let's get another card here. But I do see that that's over, right? Like for some of you, you're hanging on to someone that's passed. And that's what you kind of have to let go of is is the energy of continually going around in your mind. Okay, so Sag, that's interesting. Let's pull a few more cards from here um, and see what's going on. I mean, I feel like you guys should have the extended right on here. So that's the talking, and that is actually about separation, but I'm not going to, we're going to get another card here. It's about girl talk or whatever. So let's just take the first card, taking a chance, risking being strategic, options, not showing the hands, and gambling. Now, you're in separation with someone I don't know if it's a, a little bit of a power struggle to show who's the strongest. Someone may be born in the year of the dragon here as well. I honestly feel, Sag, like you need to and want to get out of a situation. Um, you need to take a chance because there's something here that's over. Okay, um, and it's important for you to make that move and leave because you're hanging on and it's becoming burdensome. So the reason you're going through the dark night energy right now is literally because you're not letting this go. Maybe you're afraid to take a chance. You're afraid of the risk that comes with that. Um, maybe you're not into gambling, but I do see that someone is missing someone here, thinking about someone, unsure of the future, yearning to be with them but needs to move away from another situation. Now, I personally feel like you and whoever your match is here have separated, okay? And this person is waiting for you. Um, I know it's a repetitive message here, Saj. I don't know really what to say about this because it's, it's, it is what it is. Literally, it looks like the female here is the one that left and is in confusion and is in her mind. And it's the masculine here holding space. It also looks like this has been going on for quite some time. I'm going to pull an extra card here to see what we get. I am ready for a new beginning. You remind me of my best childhood memories. I feel free to be myself. You make me feel like all my dreams can come true. I think that this is someone from your childhood who you have a deep connection with, but you're not with. You may have had another lover, um, and that's who you need to move away from, possibly. You know exactly where it fits, but I am going to clarify this more in the extended because, you know, right now, to be honest, it can go any which way. Now, let's just also remember this. There's a new beginning of love happening, but let's remember that there's something here that you're projecting that is actually not the person you're projecting it onto. It's actually your own issues. Um, you may have had to move away to let go of those issues. The death card is sticking out here and the journeyman. So before you go on your journey, there's clearly internal conflicts that have to be released and you have to get a control over that. So we have victory and success here. I do feel like um, this will be successful. You will get the strength to do what you have to do, but this is all going to Take some time by the looks of it. I mean, it doesn't have to take time. It's really just the procrastination of possibly you moving away from focusing on the past. There's definitely something you're tied to in the past or were tied to. Um, you are ready to take that leap, but you do have to release this. Nine of, it's like you kind of have to, nine of wands, ten of wands, like pick up the garbage or take the garbage right in front of you and bring it to the dump, you know, and let it go and press permanently delete while you're at it. Okay, so Saj, thank you for joining me. 
I'm going to continue this on Patreon if you'd like to come further. I'm going to really explore this situation here, this love situation here, and this burden situation here, okay? Bye for now. Thank you.